<laughs> it's a lovely family coming up next. Yeah, I love this story. <laughs> yeah. I love this story. I'm fascinated to know what they, all these teenagers think about this. Uh, so, you know, keeping on top of housework, it can be a bit of a challenge, particularly if you work full-time. Throw three teenagers into the mix and then all those tasks, cleaning, washing, tidying up, become a huge headache. Um, and for our next guest, this is mum of three, Katrina Neethi. She's come up with a solution that she says has solved all her cleaning problems. It's a cleaning contract. Uh -huh. So here she is with her three children, Olivia, Josh and Hayden. Hello. All I just like, I'd like to contract. ask Olivia, Josh and Hayden, because for you guys, you've had to read about this all week. It's been on the radio, <laughs> whatever it is. Is your mum evil? <laughs> how, what, how would you, how would you, oh, do you accept what she's, do you accept she has a point? Yeah. yeah. Has she shamed you? No, it's quite understanding. Right? Yeah. She's educated you, would you say? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hallelujah. We'll come back to that Hallelujah. in a minute. So, Katrina, you, firstly, you are a professional cleaner. You run a cleaning company. So yes. I'm assuming you are very clean, neat and tidy, like an ordered house. Um, people always think that, but unfortunately it's not, because I do work and obviously clean all the time. The last thing you want to do is come home and clean your own house. So I'd love to say my house is spotless. <laughs> and since we've done an Instagram cleaning account, we've shown, actually, that we're not clean all the time. Yeah. So it's been like... So this is nothing to do with you being overly... I'm not, I haven't got any OCD or anything like that. Really? It's just, for me, it's just they're at the age now where I think I used to make excuses for them and um, I just think now, actually, no, you're yeah. old enough to um, sort of have a little bit more respect. Yeah. Um, we've just renovated our house and, yeah, they last... Um... So it was, it was when you renovated the house and you were like, right, this is a good, good time. Good time, yeah. Tell us about some of the horrors that you found in these three rooms? Uh, so over the years, we've found um, sort of milk that's gone off in glasses, um, chopping boards in wardrobes that have been used to cut the up pizza. Board. Yeah, cut up pizza. Oh, cut Rather pizzas. than get a plate, you sort of just eat off the chopping board, then stick and it Josh, the Josh, you're looking a bit guilty there. Stick it in the back of the wardrobe, <laughs> um, makeup on the floor, foundation, um, yeah, kebab. Um, Drive so... up old kebab. Who was that? Hands up. <laughs> That was you. And that was you, Hayden. And the dog gets that. The dog gets it, so he benefits from it all because he will find the food. So it's it's been a build-up. It's not where it's it's been a last result, I'd say. Um, so it might sound extreme, but it's been um, it got to a point where Olivia, like, enough's enough. <laughs> is there is there a sex thing here from the point of view? Are boys worse than girls, or would yes. you have to you say you think so? <laughs> you th you don't think you're as bad? No, but at the end of the day, it's makeup and. I guess girls use makeup, but boys are worse because I guess they just do more things, even like because they sit in their room for ages and just eat, and then they can't bother to go downstairs, so they just sit there and just chuck their rubbish. So the they're door. just really disgusting. <laughs> yeah, basically. This story sounds so familiar. Just, just, just interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to the end of your tether, right? So, mm -hmm. so you've drawn up. A contract. It's pretty much they've pretty much all got the same. Yeah, we had things. a family meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, Olivia, just read us a bit of your contract. It was pretty much for all of you. Really. So it says no makeup in bedroom, no eating in bedroom, no juice or fizzy drinks in bedroom, only water. Um, we have to make our beds every morning. Um, all clothes must be hung up or put away. Um, put dirty washing in wash basket. Always keep your room tidy put washing up from downstairs in the dishwasher yeah. or empty it. Always put shoes or trainers away or always put your school bag So, Hayden and Nate, what I want, what I want to know, uh, Hayden and Josh, uh, what I want to know from both of you is, what is the penalty for not adhering to the rules? Five pound fine. What? Five pound fine. Five pound fine. Five pound fine. For each, for each thing for you each do item. wrong. Yeah. Has anybody so, had to pay a fine yet? A uh, couple of times. <laughs> How many times? I've only done it once. Once? What twice. did you do? What was your rule oh, break? I left a glass in my room. Left a glass in your room. Uh, Josh, you've had how many? Two or three, I think, yeah. Two or three. And what for? I think it was when I went out, I was trying on clothes and I didn't hang it back up after I tried it on. I just left them on the floor. Yeah. You did and what about you, well? Olivia? Yeah. Um, I was leaving rubbish in my bedroom and Whereabouts? also clothes. In your pillowcase. <laughs> in your pillowcase? Yeah. What did you have in your, pillow you have in your pillowcase? Um, I think it might have been a sweet wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, has it worked? That's what everyone wants, wants to know. Think, should I try this with my kids? Has it, it worked? Has, yeah. I'm actually really surprised. And I've sort of said to them, I'm really proud of them, because it might sound extreme, but actually it just proves that they can sort of look after themselves and tidy up after themselves. And that's what I'm asking. Like, I'm not asking them to tidy the whole house. No. Just 
tidy up and be make responsible my life for a bit their easier. own space. Yeah, well, and think of others. And I work, um, so I don't want to come home. And I, I think what your mum is doing for you is making you better citizens, better adults. Um, you know, and you'll be better parents and things uh, as a result. Do you, you all for that? Yeah. 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 So you, you, you actually okay with it, really? Then. Yeah. Uh, at first, we all were a bit like uh, sort of. <laughs> bit gritty about it, but it's, yeah, it's all fine now. Yeah. We're all well behaved. Can I ask you what you're going to do with the money when you find them? So it's going into a tin. Um, also, there's not much in there, to be fair, at the moment. So well, well, they're yeah, proving you exactly. your rules so are working. It will go on something together as a, as a family. It wouldn't be where we're yeah. making money from it. No. So, yeah. <laughs> Make money from your kids. <laughs> exactly. I like sounds, that idea. Yeah. Well, look, so uh, your contract is in your frame now. <laughs> That, that can go on the wall um, to, to, to remind you there. And um... Turn them around. Let's see the check you've signed them. <laughs> yes, they've all signed them. We've seen it with our very own eyes. Well, listen, I think it's, I think it's an amazing idea just to make them more responsible, their teenagers. It was last as all, but, yeah, yeah, it's worked, so... Well, there you go. Let's well, hear what you think about that, what Katrina's done. Have you done something similar? Now you've heard her I'm story. Done. Would you do something similar with your teenagers? And thanks Wait. for coming into the studio. Oh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Get home and tidy your rooms, you lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>